I'd like you to look at this as the idea of, you know, a very, very busy and very successful friend taking a morning out of their schedule to, to turbocharge your career. <laughs> Think of it that way, you know. Can you get us all a pay rise, Michelle? That would be great. Um, she's the Michael Palin of news. And I just, as an opening gambit, I wanted to ask you, I mean, was that a decision that you made? Because trust me, not all presenters are like that. Is that a decision you made? To be... What, to be not horrific? <laughs> <laughs> I guess a lot of the things did come from journalism in the sense that the more I thought about what I had learned from presenting, the more I realised that there are aspects of that that are really relevant and useful to any line of work and any stage of life because we live in an age of very short attention spans. We all have a limited time to be heard. You know, as a journalist, I realised that I'm generally better at telling other people's stories than telling my own and that's not just true in journalism it's true of all of us that a lot of us are comfortable asking other people about what they do we're comfortable probably talking about our work but the minute it comes to putting ourselves forward I think a lot of us struggle with that you know many of us uh, in this room um, come from a nation background I think for me I think there was an element of my background that where I've been brought up to be, you know, understated and modest about what I've done that actually did prevent me then putting myself forward to the extent that I have needed to at different stages. So I've had to learn to do this over time and a lot of it I wish I had learnt earlier on. You don't want to be the person who spends so much time thinking about the dream job that they end up distracted and not very good at what they do now. Can we talk about nerves and fear? We can. <laughs> I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> we can. Because one of the reasons that I wrote the book was that often people would say, you must never get nervous doing what you do. And, I, and this question started to really bother me because I thought if people are really thinking, well, a certain kind of person who never gets nervous is the kind of person who ends up doing a job like that. Um, that is a problem for society because too many people are then excluding themselves out of that uh, in, entirely. I dislike the whole... Uh, you know, any, any kind of these sort of superhuman, superwoman kind of tags, because I think they just are, you know, they're, they're not true the vast majority of the time, and they're really the opposite of empowering and helpful to, to other people. And um, I'm actually going to demonstrate something from the book now, so please watch, because I'll, I'll test you afterwards. <laughs> I demonstrated four things from your book there. What were they? <laughs> well, so what I did was open my arms to occupy space. Yeah. I leant forwards and I looked yeah. from the left to the right in the middle. And also the power pause. You I like all of that naturally. Like Come know, on, it's, you know, it's worth noticing. Loving. She got it from the book, but it's, it's not true. If people see me as a role model, I'm very privileged if I'm seen that way or when I'm seen that way. And I and it felt a bit uncomfortable at the beginning, but then I realised how much I relied on, whether it was in the first career I wanted to get into, which was law or, or, or in journalism, how much I relied on people with whom I could relate in some way, people whose bylines were different, people who looked different from the mainstream. They looked different, and that meant a lot to me, and without them, I'm not sure I would ever have thought journalism was a place for me. But I think you can find all sorts of role models. You know, you will find people, even if it's someone who, if, even if you can't see the person who looks like you and has a name like you and sounds like you, always come from a similar background, I think we can find inspiration in all sorts of, in all sorts of places.